All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got the new Hulk Hogan figure right here. Um, I got two of them, and I'll tell you what. First off, I think that Mattel is finally getting things right. As you can see here on the figure, like, look at that face scan. That face scan is magnificent. It just, it. I think it's one of the best looking yet. And then you got like all the new. The only thing I do wish, instead of this being like rubbery, like a hard rubbery plastic, I do really wish that they did like the uh, the, the ultimate where they have the. Oh, that's that's the storm. The storm edition had like the fluffy stuff, you know. Well, I mean, you can, if you're into, like, custom figures, you can go and do, like, a, uh, you can go to, like, um, a place that does, like, crafts, and you can, like, make your own, I guess. The reason this one is open is because I got two. The thing I, the thing I don't like about this figure is his arms are, like, stuck. They're stuck up in, like, a T-pose. <laughs> um, I, I'll definitely say that, like, this figure is, is my favorite so far. I think the um, the all-time best Hulk Hogan figure that recently came out is the uh, the new Ultimate 13. It's either 13 or 14. I can't remember exactly, but it's it's the it's another one of I think it's WrestleMania three or it's either WrestleMania one or WrestleMania three. I think it's one. It is one because it's Mr. T and Hogan. Um, this is the box for anybody that is that is interested. This is the box here. Um, this is. Elite Series 91, Hulk Hogan, Rob Hulk Hogan, Rob Van Dam, Austin Theory, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens and Bianca Belair are all on this one. Um, I used, I recently became like a mock collector pretty much during COVID. Um, also, I noticed I didn't I <laughs> um I didn't realize before, but they have double. This one has double jointed arms. Um, I'm curious if they will they will release this version of like hulk hogan when it comes to like an ultimate edition because storm collectibles did the nwo or two different nwo versions uh hulk hogan and yellow tights white tights and i believe they did the blue tights um but I, i'm just curious if they're ever gonna like i know like elite series is 100 is coming up but i wonder if they're gonna do like a uh what you're gonna do, brother? <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna do like a um, like fo focus strictly on like ultimate editions, because I mean probably not because that's probably what their money is. Um, they're final. I think they're just getting their likeness likeliness better. Like if you look at like look at that face. I'm trying to focus on it instead of me. So, like, if you look at that face, like the likeliness of that figure is is surreal um so what i did also it's it's a it's like a small version of a custom so what i did was i um if you if you look at the this figure his head is um that doesn't have the beard and the ultimate edition came with multiple heads so I just popped his head off <laughs> and did little Barbie surgery and put, took off the Hogan head that's here because I swear during this time, like I swear during this figure here, he didn't have, like he wasn't baby faced. I don't think he was. I'll have to look back because this was for his match with, uh, Sean I believe this was his match for uh, Shawn Michaels at SummerSlam. I was either thinking it was Shawn Michaels at SummerSlam or it was uh, Randy Orton. One of the two. I, I, either way, it's the same time frame. But I'm pretty positive that this was for his Shawn Michaels rivalry. Um, you got like look at the look at the. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to focus. Like you got the boots. Like look at that. Like that is so killer. That doesn't have the toe articulation like the Ultimates do. Some, oh, hold on. Uh, some elites do come with it. Uh, I've noticed uh, like Charlotte's uh, recent alt elite came with them. Uh, these do have double joint arms. I'm curious if they're ever going to do uh, 
butterfly arms on ultimates or if they're strictly going to be like a um a um ultimate type thing it's, but i don't know probably not um oh tits uh but yes this is it in the box i i just like to get two if i can but i found this one at gamestop um I got. I also got Van Dam. I only have one though. You touch one figure, they all fall. <laughs> yep, there it is. Um, but I also got. So I also got Rob Van Dam from the series. There was supposed to be a chase, but it got canceled because I think it was because he used it in TNA. Um, but this is Van Dam from Elite Series ninety one. You got the side, you got the other side, and then you got the back. Um, I've seen all of these in store, but I've only gotten... I, I It's hard. Like, it's so damn hard <laughs> to collect figures because I'm a person that likes to collect damn near everything. Um, but it's to the point to where, like, AEW are coming out with, like, their version of Ultimates, the uh, Supreme Edition. Then you got the Ultimates... And then you got elites and some basics. I, I got my first ever basics. Um, I'm not going to grab it. Because it's, it's Undertaker and Bret Hart. Uh, I got it simply because I love that rivalry whenever I was a kid. Um, but. No, this is just my like my little quick, like little rough and dirty review. Um, I've never done a review before. So if you could tell, I apologize that the quality is not that good. But I'm uh, just trying to... Like, his arms are, like, just stuck. Um, th this figure also... I'm surprised this figure didn't come with the title. Um, I know he didn't have the honest beat of title during this point. Um, but, yeah, I was surprised it didn't come with some sort of title. And also, I was very surprised that... Um, I was talking to somebody on Facebook, and I didn't realize that uh, the... Um, uh, Shawn Michaels Ultimates. Neither one of them came with the title. The uh, the new one that just was the Amazon exclusive didn't come with the title, and the um, the uh, other Amazon the re-release didn't come with the title, which is kind of weird because um, I would expected like at least a a wing eagle belt because that was the time frame. Um, but that'll be here in August. Fingers crossed, unless it gets delayed. I hope not. Uh, one thing I think is kind of neat is how they did the knee brace. So, for me, I know, I know most people probably won't care really. But I like that they put it like through the knee pad. Like that. I think that was kind of neat. Um, there was another figure that had a couple like that. But um, I, I just think that, that that's kind of cool. Um, these boots, man. These boots are sick. Um, the whole, the whole get up of this. Like you got the Hollywood belt behind him uh, there we go I'm trying to get the best angle i can and then uh, i'm not these so these glasses are the <laughs> i've noticed are the hardest things to keep on whenever it comes to like these damn figures because if they fall once it gets a little warm they'll just fall and then those glasses disappear and they're gone forever and then you got to spend arm and a leg just to buy a pair of glasses but um i'm gonna wrap this up but uh, this is my review of the Ultimate, uh, the Elite 91 Hulk Hogan. Um, I highly recommend getting it. I've seen it several times at GameStop. Um, I've seen it once at Target. Was it Target or Walmart? I think it was. I think it was Target. But um, I've seen these out in the wild. Um, I know that these figures are pretty hard to get. The only other figure that I recently got was. Um, this bad boy right here and this is the rock um sorry this is the rock this is uh top pick series it's him in the jersey um ray mysterio undertaker are also in this series um but i think his trunks are blue they're black yeah they're they're gray with blue outline but uh, i only have one so i can't open this one I mean, I can, but I just choose not to. This is the back for anyone that's interested. Also, so 
Somebody that like is educated can tell me in the comments. Um, the Undertaker top picks and the Undertaker Elite eighty five. They're the same figure. They're just differently posed in the box. Am I right? They they're they're both the Boneyard Taker. So I I don't know I I think that I think that they've done um like pretty good work recently on figures but I'm kind of over the uh the boneyard like top picks and then the elite because one one has him holding the shovel like this and the other has him holding it like this then that's that's really it um but I, if you guys want to see more reviews like I've got plenty of figures behind me as well as some Funko Pops. But uh, I'm going to end this here. I appreciate you guys. This is my first ever WWE Mattel review. Um, there will be a bunch more if you guys would like. So just let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. <laughs>